What is up guys? We are back with some more Monster Sanctuary here. We ended up defeating two champions as well as one of like the alchemists. This one's like Ostanis or something that we have locked up here in the prison. So we're here at the Stronghold Dungeon trying to get more information out of him, I guess. Stand tall. That's Keeper Dragoon Eric over there. Keeper Dragoon. They said Dragoon's second rank, right? Yeah, as Keeper Dragoon, he is only one rank away from the highest rank in the order. Keeper Master. They say he spends almost all of his time in the wilds patrolling the sanctuary. Most people in the sanctuary have never even seen him, but we've all heard the stories. All right. Hey, I want that uh, chest over there. Ooh, the music change. All right, all right. Good job on bringing in that evildoer, Keeper Lancer. Julia told me all about it. Sounds like you'll be making your family proud, Spectral Keeper. Julia also told me about the problem with the Goblin King. You did take care of him, right? Yes. Very good, Keeper Lancer. The ancient wood should be a safer place now. Let me introduce myself. I am Eric, Keeper Dragoon of our order. I came to the stronghold when I heard rumors that alchemists have been spotted. Oh yes, I know that this masked person belongs to the ancient order of alchemists. So, so you've been new, bro? Although I don't know much about them other than that they came to the sanctuary and caused some trouble, I'm afraid nobody in the sanctuary knows more about them. That's why I came here, to inter interrogate this alchemist. So far, I have only found out from him that the alchemists are the reason why there have been so many champion monsters. The alchemists have perfected a formula for an elixir that can turn a regular monster into a champion monster. The alchemist was in the ancient woods to gather ingredients for the elixir. Other than that, it appears that we are in the dark for now. Hmm. You have found a library deep within the stronghold dungeon? And Keeper Novice Will found a book with more information about the alchemist? Tell me about it. Interesting. I need to commend you for doing such a good job. You are quite extraordinary, aren't you? But I expect no less of a spectral keeper. Now let's try to find out what this alchemist knows about that leader of the alchemists, Marduk. Marduk? How do you know about him? Seems like Will found just the right information. Tell us, alchemist. Where is your leader, Marduk? Is he hiding somewhere in the sanctuary? Remember, if you give us the information we need, we might just decide to spare you and give you back your freedom. After we dealt with the other alchemists, of course. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, since it won't be as much use to you either way. We are indeed, indeed serving Marduk, the one and only, who has guided our order from the shadows for more than 300 years. He's hiding nowhere else than the abandoned tower. It's impossible. The abandoned tower has been sealed for hundreds of years. It is true. He sends us our orders through magic, and if he wishes so, he can leave the tower too. But it makes for quite a useful fortress for him. <laughs> yeah. That's strange. I'm not sure if we can believe him. But at this point, we have no other choice. In case you don't know, Blades, the abandoned tower is closed and can only be opened by all four spectral keepers together. But if that wasn't enough, its entrance lies beyond the mystical workshop, which is filled with some of the most dangerous monsters. And the key of power is also required to open the door to the abandoned tower. This is a lot of information, y'all. The key of power was hidden by a Keeper Master more than 400 years ago. Nobody knows where it is. It could be just about anywhere in the Sanctuary. The Alchemist found a way to break through the magic barrier of the Sanctuary. Their leader might be immortal. We can't put anything past them, so perhaps Marduk is indeed hiding within the abandoned tower. Searching for the key of power so that we may gain interest in the abandoned tower might be our best bet right now. Besides, on your search for the key, you might find more clues about the alchemist than a leader. My search? You're the dragoon, bruh. Like, you can do this. However, I will stay here to continue watching over the alchemists. Who knows how many alchemists there are in the sanctuary. They could come at any moment to break them free. Oh, that's what you want to do? So I wish you Godspeed. May you find what you search for in the sanctuary. All right, that's interesting. It's like my first time down here, actually. So let's check this out. We got grapes. And did that open this gate? Nope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fail. I need to stop using like the analog stick. That's what's like really throwing me off with like making some of these like jumps and stuff. The analog stick is like a little too sensitive. 
But all right, now we got like on that map, actually, we have like the dungeon icon there. Uh, so let's see. Thanks to Eric and Will, we now know that the leader's alchemist is hiding in the abandoned sanctuary. A sealed off area of the sanctuary or abandoned tower. There we go. We have to find the key of power to gain entrance to the abandoned tower, but it could be anywhere in the sanctuary. I can finally remember that there is an oracle in Snowy Peaks. Perhaps we should go there next. Snowy's peaks are west from the mountain path. We might need a flying monster to get there. Uh, let's see. So it's probably this location over here that we have to go to. So we'll fast travel over here to this mountain path and I'll cut us to when we're there. I also ended up getting uh, this path unlocked and this is like the sun solstice area. And there was like level 17, 18 monsters there while I was level 13, so I turned back. But I might end up going back there as well just because there's also another quest uh, for us to do for the Wanderer and a Scorch. Evolution of the River Dragon, I haven't figured out where that actually is, but I know it's like a monster we have to get that's near rivers. <laughs> so if that happens in this episode, it happens in this episode, and then I'll also go back and do the evolution for it. But if not, it's not the end of the day or end of the world, I'll say because all I have to do is just find it and evolve it on stream for you guys who are on recording. All right, guys, I'm, I'm here at the, the map where it like stops and I think this is what he meant, like saying like, you're gonna need a, a flying monster. So they can like guide you through pretty much. Oh, we got some more Yowies here. Mana ring plus three, nice. Snowy Peaks. Okay, so we got like some more icy stuff. Oh, it's Old Burren. Hello there. I was just taking a stroll around here. Ain't the Snowy Peaks just the most magnificent side of our sanctuary? Well then, how long have you been doing so far? You're a Keeper Lancer now, huh? I gotta admit, that was pretty quick. To be honest with you, the Snowy Peaks seem calm and peaceful right now. At least, I haven't heard anything yet. But hey, it said that in strange times, a Keeper in need might be able to communicate with the Frozen Oracle. Supposedly, she could answer any question or tell you where you would need to go to find a lost object. Who knows, perhaps you're the lucky one to find her. I'm certainly not going to jump onto that cold lake. That's right, the Oracle's supposed to be somewhere in the frozen lake on the west of Snowy Peaks. Why don't you go take a dive, see if there's any truth to those stories. <laughs> well, I'll head back to the farm in just a moment. Don't actually do anything foolish. I was just kidding around about going to the frozen lake, you know that, right? Right, right. You just gave me that information for no reason. Oh, it's like an ice blob? Man. Everything's gonna be like weak to fire. I should've probably just started off with fire, but it's fine. Cause I, li I like my starting team. Oh, y'all got the same strategy as me, huh? Yeah, we got an ice blob egg, so we'll uh, we'll go and hatch you. Should be level sixteen. Yep.
What are these? These are Mogways? Mogwai? Interesting overall. Sometimes I, I have to remember that, like, just because it's in, like, an ice area or it's, like, has ice skills doesn't mean it's weak or resistant to, like, the water uh, skills. That's, like, one thing I gotta keep remembering. Okay, we can't get there. Oh, I didn't even know I was going to fall on something. I need a third jump to get up there. Oh wait, do I? No, I don't. Did I seal that off? I need to, I need to check that out. Okay, I didn't. Him. And they really got me going back and forth, though. Damn it. <laughs> Oh man, those cats look pretty dope. Not gonna lie. I'll have to come back because I want to just see like what's all down here. Yeah, it's quite a drop though. Oh damn, we actually shouldn't go on that. Okay, so we have to come back here anyway. So we have to get a switch that'll unlock that door. Let's check these out. These are Aeroglows. They're weak to, to water. Okay, that's good. I'm almost making it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I almost had that.
skill potion grants a skill point. So those are actually really nice, these skill potion things. Oh, you started me all the way on the other side. I know how, like, old Briran was telling us, like, you know, he... Oh, snap, what? Telling us he was, like, joking and whatnot. This ice orbs? Okay, we got ice orbs, too. Okay. We got leather, which is a level 3 upgrade material. Oh, snap. We got, like, a snow slug, an ice slug. Mountain. Damn, that was nice. We got five star. We got the crystal snail egg. Let's check that out. Gemstone. Yo, this thing actually has, like, some pretty, like, dope-ass stats. Full defense? We'll leave that one skill point just in case. One's an interesting one. Moves heavy blocks, no? Trying to see if, uh, which one of these guys can help out. Guess we just don't know what that one does then. Verdant gem. Okay. Yeah, I know y'all saw that, because I saw that too. I'm going to go back and check those out. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, what? Okay. Weird... A room tail? A orum tail?
And we got an orum tail egg. All right, let's check that out. I wonder if there's gonna be like a, a better team synergy aside from just like what I have right now. What is this? Gold sense increases gold gained after combat by 10% if this monster is participating in combat. Okay. No way I can make that. Oh, we got a bridge here. Damn, it's a long ass bridge. What the hell? <laughs> and we're running and running and running. Oh, there we go. Finally. Wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh, snap. We can get a Minotaur from here. At least that's what it looks like. level 20 so that means we can now start accessing some of these other ones outlast when an allied monster gains their first second or third age stack they also gain a shield at the end of its turn it gains age and age does three percent damage plus three percent damage reduction plus mana regen that is nice The first critical hit of a physical attack triggers an additional hit equal to 6% of magic value. And vice versa. Ooh, that's also good. Damn. Oh man. These levels, these levels are gonna be nice as hell. I'm glad I got those skill points. That's what I'm gonna use is those uh those skill point things to get those passives even easier. Skill resetter. Okay, that's clutch. That's free. Oh, there's a house here. Ah, what a surprise. A visitor. Hello. Get warm by the fire. I'll make some tea for you. Oh, I have an even better idea. You came to me because you want to swim in the icy water, yes? It's probably swimming in a lake that won't freeze you to your bones, but I can already see your stubborn one. I know better than to argue with some young know-it-all. I'll make some warm underwear for you, yes? Trust me. <laughs> some warm underwear? <laughs> that's the best you could do? Trust me, this will keep you warm even when you're at the bottom of the frozen lake. 
I'll make it from beast hide and magma pillar silk. Yes, you'll see it and it will fit you perfectly. Just bring me some raw hide, all right? You can get it from those friendly Megators outside or maybe you'll prefer it's, it's made from a different type of beast. Just bring me any rawhide, no matter what monster it came from, I will manage. Maybe we can even find some rawhide just lying around somewhere. There are so many treasure chests around here. Good luck. And if you ever get too cold, there will always be a warm fire for you here. Okay, I was just check checking to see if I had some rawhide, but I guess I don't. So, I'll uh, end this off here, guys. I'm going to go search for that rawhide. Um, I'll probably most likely just start the next video off with me at the chest or with me at the screen of me killing an enemy that gave me rawhide and then I'll just port back over here to get that underwear and then port us back <laughs> to where that lake is at so we can start swimming in this water. But with that said guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video, helps the video a lot, and also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoyed the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.